Hey guys, Dandy Dan here, bringing you another episode of a Clash of Clans video. Uh, I'm going to do a quick thing on the Witch event, because I haven't done it. There's a whole hour and 54 minutes left. I actually did collect my event on this last raid. Um, was it 300 gems and... Or 300 experience and 30 gems. Gosh, we wish it was 300 gems. But this was that one. Um, I've only been using four witches, just the bare minimum. Dropped the wizards down a little bit, dropped a couple giants, dropped a P.E.K.K.A. Just made a little space for the four witches, because witches are bitches. They're just not all that. Um, you know, they don't set off traps anymore. Uh, they gave them a little bit more firepower, but frankly, it's not enough. I always felt like uh, Dark Elixir troops should be superior and uh you know uh, this is a defense we're looking at the wrong thing here hang on one second i think i lost too wow that's not impressive uh, but hey look uh let's take a peek at this one this would be a little better um oh yeah i remember this base uh so witches just aren't that good so to have an event with them is not really that exciting um it did get me to use them and I realized after I used them that I'm still not that impressed. Um, they're just not worth the Dark Elixir. The other problem with Town Hall 11 right now is really every upgrade is Dark Elixir. Um, I need tons. I need, you know, heroes. I got golems done. Still got to do hogs. But everything's Dark Elixir, so I got... You know, five levels of each hero to do to get them maxed out again. I really don't even want to be using Dark Elixir troops. But, you know, I did for the event. It was cool. Um, I have four bought and paid four witches from the event. And after this raid, I'm going to go back to um, All Elixir Army. Keep piling up the dark. Keep doing what I do. Um, now, this one, I did get the Dark Elixir, which is good. That's the whole point right now for me. Just farm in that dark. Um, I don't even need elixir other than operating costs. Um, so that's pretty much this raid. Nothing much else to see. Um, so we're going to do another one here. A uh, live raid. And we're going to see what we can find working for high dark elixir. Um, see what we find. I don't know. Probably going to take forever to search. Let's see. Um, this isn't horrible. Uh, let's see, I get two jump spells. Um, if I break that first wall, I could probably make my way in. The good news is on the sides here, there's not that much going on to divert me from making it in. So I'm going to drop a couple of giants out here and one wizard each and hope that they get some of the stuff. Then we're going to do some more giants. I'm going to drop the clan castle so I don't forget. Break this wall, do some more giants. Then I'm going to double the jumps so I just don't even play around. Oh, I have a ton of wall breakers. When did that happen? Drop these witches, drop a P.E.K.K.A. Drop all of these. Just drop a whole bunch of stuff at this point. Uh, we're going to do a little bit more. actually did good on the wall breaks here. Now we're going to drop a rage spell. And eventually we're going to do a heal in there too. Pop the Warden ability. And if they kind of get into that area with the Town Hall. Drop a Rage. Whoa, he went down quick. And now we will heal the core area. And I got the majority of the Dark. Pop the Queen ability. And is there a Dark Pump hide anywhere? Oh, look at that. I don't know if we're distracting this enough to get to it. Not really, no. Okay. Uh, that's a bummer. If we had gotten deeper into the base and distracted some of those back defenses, I could try to use the archers to get to the dark pumps, but that's not going to happen. So we'll just pop them over here where we can get some, you know, percentage, which really isn't going to be too much. We'll try that. I don't think that's going to work. Yeah, he's dead. Okay. Oh, we didn't even get two stars. What a bummer. Um, uh, I mean, the warden's still going. If he can finish that off and my archer gets that collector, we could get two stars. 
see what happens here. So this is always the dud part of the raid where you're just kind of watching some useless stuff happen and hoping that it works out. Um, you should take out that wizard tower too if he gets enough shots out. Oh, uh, he really needs to too. That would be my two star. Come on, buddy. Go, go, go. Go, Warden, go. Oh, looks like he's going to get it. Sweet. Two stars. All right, guys. So that's it for this episode. That's the witch event. It's pretty much over with. And uh, I don't know if it says what the next event's going to be. Let's look. Um, it would be nice to know. I think they should be kind of running something all the time. That would be pretty cool. Uh, oh, heal spell. So I actually like that one. The other thing I didn't like about the witch event is it doesn't work on lower town halls. So they kind of have to skip an event, and that's not really fair. Um, they have a barbarian event, like free barbarians. Who we'll have free barbarians? That would be sweet. Everybody's using, like, uh, just barbarians. Make, make them free time and free, like, you cook them. They're immediately cooked, and they cost nothing. Like, they're just literally free. No time, no resources, just free. Get some old barbarian raids, work king into it. It would be pretty awesome. All right, see you guys next time.